Hey guys, welcome back to Dying Light 2, a game that I have loved for a while, even though I stopped playing it, I can't remember still why not, but anyway, since I've started playing it again and filming it for you guys, I've loved it, I hope you guys do too, let's get into it, right, yeah. In my defense, let's try a different, try a different weapon. Where is it? Where is it? Oh yes, I actually got it. I get the feeling that none of these guys are going to have the crystals. Just because it feels too simple. Oh, go away. Where did you come from? <laughs> Fuck off. Right, let's go now and try this again. Facing like a hold over here. Get the fuck Same shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, go away! 
I see another one and three more turn up. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably somehow before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. How's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. I need to get up. I can't help you, mate. I've got to help myself. I've got to get the fuck up here before I turn. Oh. I haven't lost. I got what you want. So? Good try. Right over then. Military medkit. Oh. Mate, you got some good stuff here. You're my kind of customer. And yet, uh, it was worth it. It's a moment I had with them. But who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But... <clears throat> They were my friends, my teachers. Okay. Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It, it's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I, I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, a flower, and my father's weapons. But... They can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows <clears throat> how many fish are left? <clears throat> Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Okay. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I need it to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <laughs> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life okay and now i'm curious where are your fish unfortunately like i said my fish are not with us anymore and they're gone what happened uh, <clears throat> someone ate them wait wait someone ate your fish someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. 
I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. But um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. Oh, one of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. Oh. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. That is probably the most, one of the most bizarre conversations I've had so far in this game. I mean, okay. Fish. Learn a lot from fish, okay. Doesn't sound crazy at all. Right, let's head over in that direction. Turning at night, I mean, probably not the right one here, but. Get out of the way. I think it was. Um, okay, let's turn the lamp on. So I can actually see where I'm climbing. There we go. Military convoy. Be some interesting stuff here. Yeah. <sighs> 
Fucking idiot. Right. It's over this way. Idiot. You just wouldn't climb. Hey, you have anything to drink? Not a drop. What? That was stupid. I thought vehicles were supposed to. People were burned. Like a pilgrim, apparently. This is what happens when far from the bandits. Seriously? Every five seconds. Anyway, I try to get off of this building. And I die. But a whim of circumstance. Always knew it. Anyway, I try. Alright. Yay, hey, I'll actually get off the building. And if it ain't. The literal second. <laughs> I don't see how you're bitten me, but all right. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Dying Light 2, don't forget to give me a little subscribe and a like if you've enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see anything specific played let me know as well and I will do my best to get that game 
in particular for you to watch. Thanks for watching. See you later.